guys, welcome back to WDW Gaming. I'm Web Dev Wolf, and today we are back in the shadows under the cover of darkness for a little bit more thief. Um, so yeah, no, I can't do the intro with that. One. <laughs> um, so yes, going to jump back in with Thief. Going to have a bit of a longer playthrough this time, hopefully, um, because last time I was surprised at how short the chapter was getting to the clock tower. So last time we did get to the bottom of the clock tower. We're going to go climb it to clear our head, which I thought was happening last time, but apparently not. Uh, still no supernatural uh, spookies yet, uh, but hopefully we'll see as we go on. So let's jump in. Okay then guys, so we are back uh, with Thief. Um, so hoping to do a slightly longer playthrough this time um, than last time. I and mean, we've just made it to the clock tower. Um, and last time we, I believe we robbed a jewellery store. So we're just sort of getting the hang of the thieving mechanics, if you can call them that. I'm just trying to get comfy, I'm too close to the desk here. There we go. Um, Zach, can you see me? Yep, okay, good. Okay. <clears throat> what are the odds if I live here there is nothing to steal? Because it would be silly to steal from myself. Ooh. We actually haven't had a cutscene in a while. So it's quite interesting. God, I will find somewhere to be comfy at my desk today. It's not just not working for me today. Jennifer. miles from the screen now. Ah. Mysterious notes from mysterious people. Okay. Meet Basso at the crippled Burrick. Okay. First of all, is there anything that I can steal from myself? Apparently not. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, I would. So it's nice that I don't have to travel sure, back new. across the city, because uh, that would have been a pain. Two days, send men to claim his property for the crest, and have them bring a car. <laughs> so that's where we're going. Oh, my back's hurting bad. Uh, oh, pointless. Okay. Um, so I have to get to there now. Where does that take me? I presume that takes me back to the clock tower. Yes, okay. Okay, so we're going this way then. Crap! Totally forgotten what all the buttons are. How do I get up again? Ah, there we go. So I'm getting over there. Can we get through <coughs> here, maybe? Because there's something over here. Ooh, I don't quite know what kind of bird keeps coin nest, a uh, uh, coin purse in its nest. But there you go. At least it was worth the trip out. We're fairly well hidden there, aren't we? So. Same nightmares every night. Want to head over to the burrow? In a bit. Oh, uh, that piss they sell might wash the taste of sloop from my mouth. So we've basically got two options here. Let's just have a little Luxie. So we can go in there. 
we can drop down there. Now, if we go through the houses, we can Tough do some thievery along the way. Let's just see what's down here. Because I think there's something that I can... Is this the same building, though? I think it might be. It's the best way down from here. Run across quickly, yeah. <gasps> no. Not the times. Ah. Uh. How are you not seeing me? Are you blind? You. Gods to grave holes. Oh. There's something for me steel down there, but I'm not convinced I can get back up if I get down. You can smell the river from here. Okay. I can see something there, but I'm not going to be getting like every little collectible or, you know, we're not going for like the A star of gaming here. I just thought there might be something that was a quick win around here, that's all. So let's go through. this building because that seems to be the biggest win for the less risk at this point. <coughs> Another really cool thing about using an elite controller is for this, because it's got the little flappy paddles on the back whenever you're trying to lift up a window there and you have to like jimmy it up and you're pressing the paddle it feels like you're jimmying the window up. <laughs> Professional thief's equipment. It's far too bright there. Need to turn. Let's go the dark way. I think there's something up there. Yes! Uh, okay. Can I open any of these? Nope. Ah! Light switch. God said let there be darkness. Hello. I've come to steal your shit. Ooh, document. Regards to the reports on your quacks handling the gloom situation, I propose that you draft a new report based on the following guidelines. I want to encourage a steady flow of gloomers through the... Gloomers? Through the works of processing. Upwards of 100 a day should suffice. I have no idea what a gloomer is. Do you know what a gloomer is? I don't know what a gloomer is. I understand the sickness can develop with a dramatic speed. Indeed, a man who might have appeared perfectly well at evening could be found on a death cart co co death cart come the morning. Life imitating art, imitating life there. In that case, his house should also be thoroughly cleared before condemnation. Before get condemnation. The thief taker general. Ah. Okay. So there's someone locking guys like me up. This guy deserves to have his shit stolen, if you ask me. It's a very poor attitude. Yes, I know I'm in the light. Where's the light switch? Oh, screw it. There's no one there. I think the footsteps are like outside, hopefully. Of times. Stay hidden just in case. Because I can hear footsteps. I'm genuinely worried that someone's gonna like come in here whilst I've left the light on. It's so ironic. Thief takers. I'm gonna take all your shit. <laughs> Poetic justice. Okay, so what was that document that we just got? What 
watch report. All armaments inspected and logged. But Wow, that's an interesting report. Okay, newspapers. Lockdown. The streets rang with the cries of the watch, ever vigilant after the ongoing plight of the gloom. The great gates closed, the curfew was called, and nary a dutiful citizen seen on the streets. Captain of the watch, Osley Durham, called it the most successful quarantine measure to date. This lock is for the this lockdown is for the safety of our valued citizens, he said. Overseeing the closure of Traitor's Gate this evening. And we have the Baron to thank for everything, he added before returning to Dayport. What's truly a modest hero of the city. This is all very relevant right now. <laughs> I feel like I can't make a joke on that that isn't politically correct. Um, okay, so can we get through this door? No? Okay, we'll go back up this way then. Back out we came. There was some good shit in there though. Oh, we'll just pry the window open with our flappy paddle button. In fact, let me show you. See, this is the paddle on the back of the... See? Little fuck paddle there. Look. Jimmy the door open. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> okay. So we're going this way. It's a shame there's nothing I can do about those lights. Well, I mean, I could, but it attracts far too much attention. <gasps> can I really drop down there onto that like, one little beam? Ooh. <laughs> You know what I meant? There we go. That's the a bit better. Horse food. Now you're talking. <laughs> been months since I've had a bowl of horse meat sleep. Okay. So we're good. We're good. Where are you going? I hope someone starts some trouble. They're going up there. I'll put them in their oh, shut up. Can if you can find me, bitch. Okay, let's risk it. Missing wrench tool. Oh. Can I steal anything from you? Nope. Okay. Yes. <coughs> I would have went for the pickle jar bass so a lot more weight. <laughs> Plus, if you get that shit in your eyes, shit. it stings like a bitch. I see you still can't work a door. You don't come to see me, you don't write. <laughs> I thought both you and Aaron had been killed in the mansion attack. Where the hell have you been? Just chilling. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Fine. That was a bit of a lame answer, to be fair. My answer was better. Far be it for me to pry about where you've been for the last fucking year. <coughs> oh, so this is a year on. I don't have time for this. Okay. <sighs> Especially with the Baron's new duty on opium, thanks to this gloom sickness. Not to mention the Thief Taker General's black tax. Squeezing us entrepreneurs. <laughs> if you got a job for me, let's hear it. <laughs> Are you sure you're up to it? Okay, so here's the gig. <laughs> I need you to obtain a ring for me. Getting married? <laughs> Never again. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> bird. I swear one day I'm gonna have you made into a hat. And lose the brains of the uh, outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Good job, Basil. Good yeah, job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, belongs to a guy named uh, Cornelius Greaves, one of those hoity-toity types who doesn't have any shit on his boots. Ah, ah. here you go. What's the catch? Uh, he's dead. There's always catch. I'm a thief, Basso, not a grave robber. Only recently deceased. My sources say he never took the ring off. Doesn't seem much of a challenge. Ah, challenge. <laughs> we get to him before the Carters pick him over. Rumor has it they've been taking bodies to that old uh, foundry near Cinderfall, crawling with the Baron's guards for some reason. Now, best way to that place is through the old chapel. 
And uh, don't still need to pay our dues. You so can't what tax what you can't catch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get uh, out of here. And you use the door, please. Mm -hmm. <sighs> still, it's good to see you. Okay, so this guy Basso seems to like give us things to do. Um, I've got to admit, stealing something off someone who is already dead doesn't seem like a massive challenge. Did we use the door this time? Is it is it okay for me to steal from a thief? Treason. Pal over the Golden Age, last night on the eve of Summer's Day Festival, a cowardly attempt was made to assassinate Baron Northcrest himself. A black gunpowder plot at Northcrest Manor resulted in a great blast that could be heard echoing across the city. So this is like what happened with us then. With a sense of great relief, surely shared by all the fellow citizens, we can report that the Baron survived the deplorable act. The press isn't pulling any punches here, is it? Already the fine members of Justice City Watch have moved to bring them to swift justice okay do you know what though if, to be fair if a thief has got anything about them they won't leave anything around that could just be stolen no you have a lot more sense than most of the people in this city Bloom everywhere you look we can only rely on ourselves to make things better always like the end up a rat show if I'm not careful I have this something dude. for all your nefarious needs. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, what does stuff do now? So we've got water arrows. A wench would be useful. A wrench, rather. Lockpick quality. Oh, so these are like upgrades then. So once we've got it, we've got it for good. Right. Broadhead arrow. Fire arrow, water arrow, choke arrow. A rope arrow. We'll have a few of them. Just in case. They sound likely to be useful. A couple of them. Just in case we get into bother an extra one of them. Got a water arrow. I think we'll be okay without a fire arrow for now, or a choke. And I'm gonna get the wrench. Just in case. Seems like it could be useful. Or the lock picking quality. I do use a lock picking quite a bit. Let's go with the wrench. Increases maximum focus. These are like perks then. Increases carrying capacity of poppies and food. Produce no sound on impact. That would be useful. Damn, didn't see that. Shouldn't have bought my wench. Always oh well. A pleasure. Never mind. Down here. Now there's a job I ah, he's pissing. Remember, if you shake it more than twice, it's playing with yourself. Ah, pup, I'm allowed to be in here. Another night, another group. Following the week's hangings, Baron Northcrest delivered a short address today. His first since the shocking attempt on his very life. Well, that was bullshit. The gathered crowd was visibly moved by the sight of our iron leader, who... 
has, much like his mental namesake, has provided unbending adversity. Though the Baron's speech was several hours shorter than his usual itinerary, he remained his he, he maintained even his plans for the city were clearer than ever before and more urgent. If only the hated conspirators would live to witness his indomitable spirit, then be executed anew. Okay. Chapter's completely per play style. Oh, tools and upgrades. Can I do anything with that? Oh, it's just telling me that I've got it. And telling me that I've got it. Okay. Someone talking to himself by the clock tower. That's how it started with the upstairs neighbors. Are you a bit drunk there, buddy? I came to the barrack. They didn't go back. I wish there was a sloop. You're looking like you're having trouble with standing there. Well, hello, Karen sirs. Yes, hello. Hello, barkeep. There's a lovely iguana head you have up there. I think I'll get my drink elsewhere. Okay. I can see you. Let's move on. I am. Okay. So, let's make our way up here. Considering I'm just walking up a street, I think I'll be okay if those guys see me. Yeah. I'm trying to get through there, but we can't go through there. We're trying to get around, so for now I'm okay on the ground. I don't think you dudes are going to care that I'm out, are you? Oh, don't do- why would you do that? Look. Right. So this is where we're going. God, we definitely need to be looking at getting upwards. Some of these gloomers bite off their tongues to make it stop. Some push in their eyes or their ears. Luck wants nothing to do with this city. Can I go over that? Nope. I really could do with going in the upward direction, but... Then again, downward is just as useful. Ooh. The old chapel on Spooky. the side. The court of the Queen of Beggars. That's a cool environment. Look at that. Abandoned chapel. That's awesome. Can I not go through? No. Yes. No. Ah, yes. Just wondering if there's anything here that's worth taking. Oh, newspaper. I would quite like not to be seen, just in case. Ooh, what's this? Black. Yeah. Yes, I will steal this plaque. I don't quite know what why yet. But... Ah, collectible. Okay. Okay. This way. It's a lonely night. It's the best kind. Ah, oh. uh, Garrett. You walk the path few 
would wish. That's the only one I know. Quite. They've got the same eyes. Sort of. You know what they say about me. That you know everything that happens in this city. Not everything. Just the important things. Hmm. What brings you here? Seeking my counsel? A year ago, I was at the Northcrest Mansion. Something went wrong. What happened to me? What happened to Aaron? A year ago. God, we're finally getting a bit of Men exposition who now. Men believed themselves to know best try to control something they didn't fully understand for their own ends. The balance has shifted. We can all feel it. That's your answer. When my beggars found you after the accident, they thought you were dead. But you were not dead. So we healed your broken body and brought you from the city to, to keep you safe while we waited. But then, just after the gloom started, something began to wake you. It was time for you to return home. This city grows sick. It will tell you all in time, if you choose to listen. Careful, Garrett. There are worse things in the shadows than you. I feel that explained nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's cool that they've got, um... Ah, focus points. Donate gold to the Queen of Beggars and receive focus points. Use focus points to enhance your focus abilities. Okay. Let's see. Ah. Interesting. Hmm. All of these seem useful. Reduce the rage of sound to generate. Yeah, we'll go with that. That seems useful. Stealth is always a good thing. So we've got this plaque. Unique loot. Oh, that was from the first chapter. And documents, newspapers. Mm, that's a long document. If you want to read that, then just pause it, because I think it's just a little bit about the Baron again. Okie dokie. I like it. I like the mystery surrounding it. Um, I like how she's saying listen to the city. That does kind of um, make us think that, you know, there are some things that go on in the city that not everybody is aware of. Um, so it, I'm not really making much sense, but hopefully you know what I mean. <laughs> so yes, we will move on. Okay, so guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. Um, so if you like the video and you like what you see, come and subscribe, come and join the pack. And if you particularly liked this video, then uh, come and cock your leg and mark your territory on the like button. Always glad to see you here. Thank you for watching. And guys, I'm going to be back in the next video. And why am I going to be back, guys? Because gamers never die, they just respawn. See you next time, folks.